We did our presentation on the Hindu texts. There are two different kinds of Hindu texts, Shmriti and Shruti. Both of these sections contain their own texts. There is only one collection of Shruti texts, the Vedas. The Vedas consist of the Samhitas, Brahmanas, Aranyakas, and the Upanishads. The Samhitas, or collections, contains four texts, the Rig Veda, the Yajur Veda, the Sama Veda, and the Atharva Veda. The Rig Veda contains hymns focusing on pleasing certain gods. The Yajur Veda is a guide for priests. The Sama Veda is a collection of hymns from the Rig Veda, and the Atharva Veda contains 20 hymns and spells and charms. The Brahmanas talks about mythology and significance of the Samhitas. It is also a guide for priests and contains rituals for consecration. The next Veda, the Aranyakas, or forest books, is similar to the Brahmanas. This Veda concerns meditation and worship. The final Veda, the Upanishads, are philosophical works that introduce the central ideas of self-realization, yoga, meditation, karma, and reincarnation. The first Smriti text are the Itihasas. The Itihasas are a collection of stories which contains the Mahabharata and the Ramayana. The Mahabharata has over 100,000 verses and is the longest epic poem. The Ramayana is a story of, about a prince who is exiled and has written 24,000 couplets. The Ramayana is a classic story of good overcoming evil. The next Smriti texts are the Puranas. The Puranas are a collection of literature and stories written in the Middle Ages. The third Smriti texts are the Dharma Shastras, or Law Codes. This text deals with legal matters. The next two texts are the Agamas and Tantras. The Agamas contains directions for making temples and places of worship, and the Tantras contain directions on how to worship. The last texts are the Darshanas. This text contains manuals to philosophy and suggestions on how to think and ask questions. The darshanas were also made to systemize the Vedas. That's all.